There are several ways to experience Ubuntu that can help you to go through the transition from another operating system over to Linux. The easiest way is to run Ubuntu from a DVD or USB drive. This won't change anything on your computer and will give you the chance to see it in action. The second easiest method is to run Ubuntu inside your current operating system as if it were just another application. To do this you will have to install VirtualBox and create a virtual machine. We will talk about virtual machines later on this tutorial. The third option is to install Ubuntu on your computer altogether or configure a dual boot to have it alongside your current operating system and choose between the two on startup. Whatever method you choose you will follow roughly the same procedure of downloading and installing. So let's get started. Downloading and installing Ubuntu is very easy, although it might take a couple of hours altogether if you have a fast internet connection and a reasonably recent computer. To download Ubuntu, go to the website ubuntu.com, click on download on the menu at the top and then choose Ubuntu desktop. Once you click the download button, you can choose to donate some money or click on the Take Me to the Download link at the bottom. The download will take a while to complete since it's a large file. You can use this time to read the installation instructions for Ubuntu at the bottom of the page. There you will see the installation process that you will go through once your download is finished. Note that the file you download is a disk image and you should burn the disk image on a DVD or USB drive and not just copy the file over as you would with regular files. You can find instructions on how to burn a DVD or create a bootable USB drive by going back to the page Downloads, Desktop and scrolling down a little bit. Once you boot from your DVD or USB drive, you can choose to either try it out or install it on your machine. If you decide to install it, the installation instructions from Ubuntu.com can come very handy. The instructions are very clear and the screenshots are very helpful to know exactly where you are. All this should be pretty easy and straightforward. If you feel like it's not the right time for you to migrate yet, you can install Ubuntu inside your current operating system and start using it as a virtual machine. This approach is good for you to take advantage of what Linux can offer without having a Linux computer. Alternatively, you can do it the other way around and install your current operating system inside Ubuntu in case you need to have a quick access to your current operating system. We will see during the tutorial how to install an operating system inside Ubuntu using a virtual machine. In both cases, you will still have access to any environment you want, independently of your primary choice. Once you've finished the installation, click on one of the overview videos to take a tour of the desktop and get to know it a little bit better.